I've always been a city kid. Yeah. <laughs> and then I ended up raising yeah. a deer. Wee, wee, wee. Thor! <laughs> I am Dawn, and this is Thor's story for GeoBeats. Thor! Eek! My husband was out in the yard and heard a baby deer bleating like a sheep. My husband walked towards the sound, and Thor ended up standing on my husband's feet. We knew right away to call the vet, and after they examined Thor, they determined that Thor had been abandoned. His mother most likely died. Thor! They spend the first couple of weeks just lying quietly until their mothers come and feed them. And the fact that Thor was up and around was really a bad sign. The vet didn't have any space for Thor, so he was sent back home with us. And that's the moment when we became instant deer parents. <laughs> Throughout this entire journey with him, I've been very clear that he was never going to be a pet, and I was going to raise him as a wild animal. We ended up creating a pretty big enclosure for him. About 15 feet by about 30 or 40 feet. The first month and a half, I slept outside in a tent near him, so he was safe at night. <gasps> Well, I fed him every three hours from May through September. He's bonding. This is what mamas and babies do at night. I did a lot of research, and it turns out deer can't drink cow milk. They have to have goat milk. Ow! He's got teeth. There he is. By the time he was four months old, he was out in the wild. He came and went. But he would be out there somewhere and I would call his name and say, Thor, Milky! And he would come running down and come get his bottle of milk. Thor, Milky! And if I didn't get outside fast enough, we have a doormat on our kitchen deck here that he would jump up on the deck and lie down on the mat and be waiting for his milk. Hi, Thor. You want to make more, Thor? He's two and a half years old now. What you doing? The door's right there. Deer can actually smell their relatives. And so all the females around here are his aunts, cousins, and sisters. So he is not going to be mating with them. Hi, Thor. I'm sure he's chasing some other does now that are not family members. But it seems like this is his home range. He does go away for periods of time. He's been gone about a month now he will most likely return back and he'll come hang out with me. He walks two different worlds. Thor behind us, walking along, checking things out. It's like we're friends and we have a close relationship. When Thor shows up, he will raise his tail and that usually means excitement and sort of a greeting. <laughs> it's just a joyful reunion. I just, it's making me laugh. I kind of like was pushing him away and then he comes right back at me. So <laughs> he still loves that mat to this day, even though he's a big deer now, he loves to lie down on that mat. He'll just hang out there for a while. Hey, little guy. I really tended to him and took care of the wound. He let me massage his leg and also do some physical therapy to keep it from getting really stiff. Keep walking a little bit, let's exercise you. Fortunately, he healed and he can run and jump just like any other deer now. Hi. This whole journey has been something very, very special. There is a local herd around here, about 14 to maybe 18 deer. And Thor is part of that herd. And most of them are probably either sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, that kind of thing. Thor's on the left. Because Thor trusts me, I could be out in the yard and go sit down. He'll come sit next to me and then the other deer in the herd will sit down too. So I'm in this trust circle, which is very, very rare. He's taught me to listen deeper into the outdoors and I'd follow his gaze and there was a deer up above moving through the grass. And once I realized it was there, then I started listening and I could actually start hearing the sound of the deer walking. And I wouldn't have noticed that otherwise. So it's the deeper level of consciousness about what's going on around me. Thor! If you pay attention to the world around you, you can learn a lot about how other animals live their lives and how they fit into the bigger picture of the world. Thor has been a great interspecies ambassador. This makes my life just so wonderful. I really treasure every moment that I have with Thor. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs>